How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. As requested, we've got a couple of EVO 1v1s from the Nissan Crew Battles tournament that just happened. And the first out of the two is going to be up against Rettles. And this is from the same series that the uh, Daniel versus Rapid matchup took place in. Um, so Rettles is going to be in the blue here, starting off with a strong air dribble attempt. But it was saved because the ball went a bit too high and EVO managed to get a bump onto Rettles to knock him away from the play. Speaking of, there's another one this time at the opposite end of the field. Rettles playing the low economy boost management game to try and survive an EVO pressure play. Now EVO for I think the longest time now has just been making gradual improvements to his 1v1 game. We've seen his kickoff game really advance recently to a much higher level than it once was. We've seen his mental game um, advance to a much higher level than it once was as well. And uh, Now he's going to take the one goal lead inside a minute on Rettles off the back of a power clear to the back wall which left Rettles underneath the ball. He couldn't see where Evo was and uh, had to just pre-jump assuming that Evo would be attacking that one quickly and he missed the back wall read. Now Rettles is uh, a player who's also got a ton of ones background although not as recently as Evo, definitely not as recently active. Uh, but at one point, Rentals uh, was probably top three, top four, maybe top five NA, um, playing a ton of weekly tournaments and doing really well in them. Uh, this is, you know, back in the days where First Killer was winning up pretty much all the weekly tournaments and players like uh, AJ Lionblaze were definitely main competition. Uh, Taroko as well. But Rentals is up there. He, he is a player with a ton of ones experience. And to this day, he, you can just tell watching him play. He knows what he's doing. He's uh, always tough to beat. But in this match, in this game in particular, uh, Evo is absolutely in his flow state and just reading Rettles so, so well. Uh, Rettles tried uh, one air dribble earlier on, decided to bail out of that one, I think, because the first touch didn't really connect all that well. And uh, his backup plan also did not result in a shot on target, but no panic, Rettles back into his own half and thinking about starting again. Sees Evo committing, but once again, Evo gets a bump onto Rettles as Rettles knocks the ball past him. And uh, that's one of the reasons why you're going for the air dribble over the top or even just a little pop over the top of your opponent can be uh, detrimental as a strategy. You can just get bumped out of the way even if you get the ball over them. So Rettles fakes a wall play, cuts in field. Evo goes right for the ball though. Looks like he was closing the distance to try and challenge early on any aerial play anyway. But Rettles again attacking this time from the far side. <laughs> air dribble bump fails to connect. Evo gets in front of him and uh, comes away with a counter attack goal. But Rettles really mixing things up here. We've seen uh, ground plays, we've seen air dribble plays, and Evo is reading absolutely every single one of them, and uh, just uh, almost half the game gone. Still just 2-0. Uh, you know, quick look at the scoreboard, it'll show that Reynolds has had a fair bit of, uh, well, a fair few shots on target there. And he's had plenty of possession, but Evo not too bothered by that. Just reading everything Reynolds is doing and reacting accordingly. Nice little trip there by Evo as Reynolds landed from his uh, previous play. Evo predicting Rettles fake challenge. No panic on his part there. And now off the ceiling he goes. Decides to play for the slow game here, thinking that Rettles is on low boost, but actually Rettles managing his boost exceptionally well. But fails to get the height on his counter-attack that he really wanted. He needed to pop that into the top shelf of the goal to force Evo to land badly. Evo landing just fine. He's backing up Rettles again. And you can tell at this point that Evo is feeling extremely comfortable defending against Rettles' offense. Rettles now going for a back wall bump, but Evo dodges that one. I mean, nothing Rettles is doing can catch Evo off guard. Really a stunning display of reading your opponent, but Rettles now seals the boost. Evo's on zero. You've got to think, and now, at this point, Rettles will be able to find a way through. Evo still on absolutely no boost, and Rettles can put him on that, but the flick fails to connect. And now Rettles has got some turning around to do. That is attempted quickly. Evo thought about going for boost, turned after realizing his shot's on net, and has to concede back corner boost. I mean, Rettles has done a great job keeping Evo on zero boost here, but unless he can get a threatening shot on target, it's all for nothing. And with just a minute left, he still remains scoreless. Crazy defense and crazy midfield control out of Evo. Rettles desperately needs to get something going here, but he drops the ball off the front of his car, and I really have to think that that was an accident there because Rettles is looking to accelerate the ball to the front edge of his car, flick it top shelf, and now he goes for the same play after demoing Evo on the counter. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't get it to work out. Evo catches the ball to pop it on target. Still holding Rettles scoreless with just over 30 seconds left. But that being said, it is only a two goal difference. So if Rettles can get one, he is in a winning position. 
with the kickoff. But it's not going to happen. Evo too quick. Gets past him once more and goes up by three with 22 seconds to go. Really such a unique 1v1 here from Evo. Similar actually to the 1v1 that Khaled and Ferry played in the Lamborghinis on the Rock League channel, if you guys are familiar with that one. <laughs> Look at Evo now. Delaying his flick, catching it with the tail end uh, off the car's rotation, and he knows that just any aerial play is going to be pretty good to go here. But Rettel snipes the long shot with a challenge and needs a kickoff goal to keep this comeback alive. Goes for the slow approach. Evo doesn't run into it. A good try there by Rettles at the end there, coming up with something that can at least give him a chance to come back. But Evo just far too strong, reading everything Rettles is doing. And uh, I think in the final uh, minute of uh, consistent offense that Rettles had there, failure to score really did signal the end of this game because he had Evo on zero boost for a long time. He had a couple of free dribbles straight at Evo, uh, but he just could not control the ball in the uh, Dominus hitbox. So well done, Evo. But we're going to see one more game from him uh, in the grand final, actually, of the uh, of the Nissan Crew Battle Tournament um, against Ghost Gaming's Lion Blaze, two of the best in North America, uh, who already had big wins of the day. Um, so let's get into it. Let's see who was the king of 1v1 for the Crew Battles Tournament. So here we go. Lion Blaze in the blue, Evo in the orange. Lion Blaze in my previous video taking down AJ from FaZe and uh, Evo's teammate Rapid taking down Daniel. First killer not playing uh, in the tournament. It really just made these two the top two players uh, for the event. The, every top player from NA1s was in this tournament. Um, but these are the two who had the biggest wins. Evo quickly uh, shooting from an open net position in the back corner, but he didn't get it on target. A second time he will as Lion Blaze got caught a little bit awkwardly backwards in no man's land. Unable to defend the near post shot. Confidence coming out of Evo here. Such a, a joy to see for players and or rather for fans and uh, viewers who have seen him crumble in high pressure situations before. He was the guy who, for at one point, uh, you know, as, as many others do, just couldn't live up to his obvious potential. I mean, whenever you watch a player like this, you know that he's got what it takes to take on anyone and to be one of the absolute best players in the world in 1v1. But he just couldn't get it together in tough situations in those game fours, games five, game fives and show matches tournaments, um, falling many times to numerous kickoff goals but like I said earlier his kickoff has really improved recently and so has his resilience his uh, consistency in those high pressure situations and full credit to him for that now Lion Blaze player who's seen quite a lot of success in 3v3 this season compared to previous seasons even this split uh, his team were in the running for the London Major until uh, the failure to advance in regional number two past round one it's awesome to see Lion Blaze seeing 3v3 success, as we all know uh, how long he has been at the very top of uh, NA1s. Evo getting the better of him here. Not enough boost to send that tight angle rebound on target. Great demo in the back corner. Evo having to use all of his boost to keep up with Lion Blaze. Lion Blaze thought you could just get away from him. And he felt wrong. Now Evo, air dribbling a bit too far to the right. Has to bail out for the boost seal. He goes for another demo. Lion Blaze saw that one coming, jumps over it. Both players evenly matched in the off-the-wall 50-50. And now fighting for the back corner boost, which Lion Blaze gets. It was just a bit too late for Evo. Had to leave the scene right before the boost spawn. Now remember, this is a Dominus hitbox car, like I keep saying. Something that we haven't seen a lot from Lion Blaze, or pretty much ever from Lion Blaze, but Evo... A little bit more familiar, so, you know, coming into this tournament, I did not expect Lion Blaze to be comfortable in this vehicle. I think he did a great job. I think this could be something to maybe add to Lion Blaze uh, 1v1 Arsenal. So if he can play this consistently in it, it's a much harder card to read. I think being able to switch car, either Octane, Fennec, Dominus, uh, whatever else, can be such a valuable thing to have, especially in 1v1. So just one goal in it. Half the game gone. Evo backed up into the corner. Lion Blaze decides to go for the catch on low 50-50. And Evo goes right through him, not falling for it. And I'm actually going to rewind here to take a look at what Evo saw. Because I think it's quite interesting to know that, or to see why Evo 
Just went for the challenge here, and yeah, he just wasn't. It wasn't expecting the flick. You could tell by the way Lion Blaze was sitting underneath the, the ball that he didn't look like he was ready to flick it. It was much more of a low 50 setup. Evo saw that coming, but really good uh, job by Evo to spot that in such a high pressure situation. Lion Blaze is known and always has been uh, one of the most dangerous close range flickers in the entire world, and just uh, of all time. His flicks from point blank range, even from uh, mid range, are pretty much undefendable at times. So for Evo to spot that it's not really a threat there, just go right for the ball. It shows just how well he was focusing in this tournament, bringing that flow state that he was able to achieve earlier on against Rettles into the grand final as well. Now Lion Blaze, just a little bit more boost would have been able to get around that ball and sneak it on target. Both players missed the boost deal, or the boost grab, I should say, on spawn, but Evo's the one who's able to get it in the next play. Lion Blaze looking to deflect the ball off his own backboard into space. And he does get Evo to back up briefly here. Evo fakes a jump while shadowing. Lion Blaze flick is not good enough. It doesn't force Evo into his own net. And now Evo on the counter attack has to, I think, wait for this bounce. Yeah, he does wait for the bounce because that was a bit of an awkward bounce to read. And I like that Evo didn't rush it. He's taking his time here. Calmly scores after a few more seconds. Many players would have tried to rush that shot, shot from close range at a tight angle, hit the post, and seen their two-goal lead turn into one with a kickoff coming up. But Evo knew that that bounce was not worth the risk, uh, and he didn't bother trying to read it. A lovely pre-flip on the recovery. Evo, 12 boosts in net. Lionblade is going to try and find a way to get it past him, and he does! Evo, looking for a jump off the post to try and get the save. Couldn't get there in time. 45 seconds to go. Really great defensive play from both players, keeping the scoreline low in this one. Now Evo with the boost seal. And uh, I think the possession play as well, almost getting a demo. At least chases line blaze off the mid boost. Gives himself a big winning position. I'm not sure about that one. Evo just shooting from distance. Gives line blaze one more shot to control the play, but line blaze gets demoed on the sidewall, and that could just be game over. Big mistake from line blaze there to get caught out. It was difficult to stay safe there, difficult to avoid Evo, but you have to or else you are going to lose. And Evo flip resets on him for 5-2. And he knows that even if that doesn't result in a goal, there's just not that much time left. But suddenly a kickoff miss from Evo will give Lion Blaze a goal. That was a bit of a big bean there from Evo. Single jumps by accident. It's not out of the woods yet, just like in the Rettles game. He's got six seconds to hold on to a two-goal lead. Rettles tried the delayed kickoff. Lion Blaze has already done that this game. Just decides to chip it on target because he saw Evo staying back. But Evo trusts his goalkeeping and does hold on for the two-goal win. Uh, great stuff out of Evo here. Um, taking down Lion Blaze, taking down Rettles earlier on in the tournament. Also, uh, he, he was, I think he was able to beat Rays Bull in round one, which is a great win given the uh, success that Rays Bull had against Daniel in uh, the Gamers Without Borders Crew Battles tournament. So Evo coming out on top of North America, uh, helping his team, um, well, actually eventually uh, finish second overall in this tournament. Uh, they, I think they messed up by not picking 1v1 for the final matchup. They could have. Uh, Rapid could have put himself out there against either Shock or Hoxer, one of Lion Blaze's teammates. Because like I said in the previous video, this particular Crew Battles format, um, it meant that no player who's played in 1v1 or 2v2 previously in a series can come back to play if that game mode is picked later on. So even Lion Blaze playing here in game three, that gave uh, X set the advantage in the series. Um, but they didn't put Rapid out for game five against one of Lion Blaze's teammates, which I think was a big, big, big throw. I think Rapid would have been a big favorite, a massive favorite there after beating Daniel earlier in the event. Um, but twos and threes, just too strong for Ghosts who, who were victorious. Nonetheless, so Evo, I think the uh, most impressive ones player in this, uh, in, in all the 1v1 games that we saw in this event, you've got to show up. It's best of one, essentially, as part of a bigger series in crew battles. And uh, Evo not uh, taking any losses here. AJ took a loss, Daniel took a loss, Lion Blaze, Ray's Bill, all these great ones, players taking a loss. And First Killer did not play, so he wasn't confident uh, in the card, didn't want to play once, and they lost uh, as a result. But, you know, team, team's not picking 1v1 and putting out their best ones player. Uh, it resulted in losses more than one occasion and actually uh, to Ghost's benefit both times. So I think, uh, yeah, no, nobody wanted to pick ones against Ghost for some reason. Maybe they're afraid of Shock. Maybe Shock or Hawks are actually secret ones, Bains, that, uh, that I didn't know about. Uh, and uh, Nobody wanted to play them. Uh, either way, guys, 
Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed these uh, one-off games from the Nissan Crew Battle Tournament. I've mentioned in the last video that I uploaded about this uh, this event uh, that I'm really hoping that they do one of these for Europe. I think it would be awesome to see uh, all of the top European teams playing in this format. Um, and it was a ton of fun to see the, uh, the First Touch uh, podcast guys in a different uh, setting, just hosting and running a, a tournament. Uh, so shout out to them as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to be back. So uh, just a quick notification for you guys. I'm going to be back streaming this week, more normal content. I was uh, pretty busy uh, with, well, I was casting this Nissan Crew Battles tournament uh, one day last week and also uh, doing a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of work days for Gamers Without Borders. Uh, but with that, um, in, the, in, the rear view, uh, rear, in the rear view mirror now, um, I'm going to be trying to squeeze in as many show matches as possible uh, on the Twitch channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to catch all of those live. I tweet before all my streams. And uh, for those of you who prefer to watch on YouTube, I uh, appreciate you doing that as well. And uh, I'll see you guys next time that I do get those uploaded over here. Uh, but for now, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching and take care.